now then. So, if you cast your mind back to a couple of months ago when they released the 12 new cards, I posted a video because I instantly spotted the potential for using Eldane in like a trapped unitless kind of list, using him as a finisher. And I wasn't wrong. Like, those lists have pretty much been picking up ever since and have been kind of a mainstay in the meta. And would you believe it? People were too pleased at the time. Got a couple of interesting comments. Uh, <laughs> and so you would think, oh, maybe maybe take those into account. Uh, maybe don't person of a unitless video, but uh, don't do the smart thing here. Oh no, oh no. So we're going to be degenerate on ladder today. And I just live for it. Because as much as I enjoy playing interesting decks and trying to like really master strong decks, I also really thrive on that knowing someone is super annoyed at what I'm doing. So we're really we're really just looking for that today. We're looking to make someone's life mildly worse just because of our deck choice. And if we can do that, we've achieved something with this deck, so yeah, this is definitely the deck if you don't want to get GG's and you just want to cause havoc on ladder. It's a little quick explanation for anyone who hasn't played this. What you're looking to do is you're looking to win round one, take a long round, play nothing but traps, use Aldane to turn them on all into dead eyes, and then Venos Seal as a finisher. And... It is super annoying to play against because you have nothing to interact with and it's just really annoying. So that's what we're that's what we're gonna be playing today. Uh as always, I would much appreciate it if you could subscribe, it really helps me out. And I will get straight into the games. Enjoy. Okay, Nilfgaard friend. This Nilfgaard friend. Um I mean at least it isn't double cross. I think like you don't do too bad against double cross, but it's usually the ideal one. Uh, so what we're looking for here is we kind of just want to get out the round. I would imagine... Like, is Imprisonment suggesting it's maybe a Clogger's list? Um, possibly. I feel like we always do alright against Cloggers. Because Incinerating Trap. The hand's not too bad. Um, maybe drop you. Don't want all these traps. Okay. Enforces is interesting. I'm incredibly tempted to just set up and trap that. Hmm. It's it's questionable whether that's correct or not, but um we definitely have the potential to win this round on even. I think if we can get away with that, I think we want to do it. Depending on what they play, will depend on if we play fine this round. We want to be playing it, if we're going to play it, we want to be playing it in a position where we can sort of guarantee that we're going to win the round on even. But yeah, we just have to be a little bit mindful of when and where we play it. Although straight away this is already telling me it's probably not Cloggers, which I'm very very happy about. This may well just be a standard Nilfgaard mm. kind of list. So do we reckon we'll win in the round without fine? I don't think we are. Really don't think we win the round if we don't use fine here. And I'm actually alright playing it, um, just because they don't have a pass. I mean, they can pass, but then they lose the round uneven. And I mean, we just play down, um, play out the useless stuff, and then we can go into a completely unreactive round three. But yeah, we can uh, we can see how it works out. It looks play Commander. Commander next, uh, that'll bring out Ayla in. And then we'll use Officer as like a damage summit by two, set up for a waylay kind of play. On. Right into a coup. 
I think that's okay. What is it you want? My to Probably worth just going uh, here and here. Lock up one of these engines. Just as long as we're staying ahead, um, we're pretty happy. And we have a prime setup for a whaler here. Just use the officer, get a couple of hits onto Swordmaster here, and then that's usually enough. We do have the option if we wanted to get like super greedy with it. Uh, into a Berman, but we may want a, an Aeromancy for the other officer. I'm not too sure, to be honest, because we're not going to be playing into both rounds. I don't think so. I can be a little more flexible with an Aero. Well, we plan not to. And the good thing in this position is we've got a lead, and even if they keep playing, okay, or they can just give us the pass, which is kind of fine. Um, I was going to say if they keep playing in, then you know we can keep playing cards like you know Venossil's Commando or whatever. Um, just keep getting cards because we have such a lead, we can get away with what is basically a three-point play. So we just want to look to improve the hand as much as possible, uh, which hasn't worked, which is very cool. Uh, so what we'll probably look to do is we'll probably play out like these four, um, maybe even just maxi, and then something like, uh, I don't know, maybe like a commando or something. Just thin out the deck a little bit, um, see what we can get out of them. if that's their choice I mean we do have the option here to just pass and go in a card up we get double last say then um, problem is mulligans could be a little rough I think we want to play maxi uh, so our draws our draw's really aren't looking too great. We'll find Venossial and an incinerating trap, but then we're also missing Karathi, Ivan, and Hattori, so we actually do want uh Yeah, we do want to shuffle that. We don't want to be stuck with that hand. Them playing that suggests that the hand's kind of good. Uh, whoops. Like, I don't care too much about us um, going into round three a card up. It would be nice, but um, we're always like guaranteed from this bleed to not be a card down. So uh, we really don't mind too much. Interesting. Well, we can just keep, just keep trading, uh, just trading bronzes. I mean, maxis is like pseudo bronze. Trade bronzes for golds. So they played nine, eight. They played seventeen provisions, and we've played two fours and a five, so thirteen. And they want a Joachim as well, which is also fine. Uh, so we could a Nero. Want to, uh, but I think we're fine with that. I think we're fine in this situation. We probably have some decent stuff left, but um, I really don't mind too much. Don't really want to expend too much of this. We could have used an era if we'd wanted, but I don't want to play into any nonsense. All right, so we'll drop you, and we'll drop you. 
always pays off. Maxi, best card in the game. <laughs> Honestly, that, that change to five provisions on her was absolutely huge. Just because before she was just not worth playing, far too expensive for what she was doing, but now it's at worst playing as like a reasonable player. So, yeah, I'm very, very impressed. I think we want to see what we can get here. Yep. And what we'll probably look to do is um, use Eorzeth, put back the Pitfall Trap, but play it a different one if that makes sense. Um, but that that extra bamboo is up there just be like, ah, oh, he's playing into another Pitfall, we'll play a Fall Provision card or something. Um, Reasonable. Reasonable. So. Put you back, but we'll play it incinerating this time. Main decking infiltrator is interesting. Interesting choice. Yeah, this is kind of why. Because I'll think, ah, oh, it's just pitfall again. No, no, no. So, I think we've got Crushing here. We think this is Pitfall again. Cool. And uh, now we finally, finally play the Pit Trap. Get our points in. Um, there you go. Kind of what I mean. Um, we're going to run out of things they can do that aren't playing into a pitfall because they've played all the stuff that like plays around pitfall if that makes sense you know like the um what's it called um like the four provision cards the five provision cards so we just we just keep on with this we just keep on with this there's no way for them to know 100% what that is. Fair enough. Probably use the leader to kill a couple of these. Uh, what did they discard? Throw it, coup. And Vincent plays for negative one here. I said we were bringing degeneracy to the to the ladder boys. I wasn't lying. I wasn't lying. And another Nilfgaard friend. But, I mean, that is the ultimate question, right? Here's one for you to decide for yourselves. And let me know your opinion. Um, which is more degenerate? Double the current like meta breaker or unitless, because that's ultimately the question. Uh, considering this hand, I actually think we hold on to the other end because we're almost certainly going to have to use fine death to win this round, and holding on to the other end means it doesn't come out, which gives us even more power for the later rounds. And now I really wish I held on to that. Serpent Trap, because I would just slam Serpent Trap right here. So yeah, low on Fortune. Probably just go with the Swordmaster next. Because I definitely feel like the... I don't know if it's a case of like... The decks played so much, but I've just played way too much against um, the meta breaker list to have fun in the matchup anymore. Just because I've I've tried a million and one different approaches to it, and just every time I I can't get it right for the life of me. 
but it is what it is. It is what it is. So we'll play Sword Master. Uh, this, this usually just gets locked up here, but I don't think we care too much. Because then we can just go like Officer, hang into something, waylay, all that fun stuff. All good. Does mean we can play the Swordmaster rather than Officer, which I think I like, to be honest. It obviously gives them a pass, but, um, and Alien would have denied that pass, but I mean, if they want to pass on 7 after playing Vega and Brathens, yeah, I'm very happy about that. That's a situation we're perfectly fine with. So, again, this gives them a pass, um, but we just, we never get value on this card, and we just want to see what they play, because um, all of the points are in this Brathlands, and I'm happy to commit the Heat Wave to win the round. So, yeah, we'll just, we'll just feel out what they're trying to do. Also, if we can get a Neuromancy before round three, uh, we will be throwing back the Venossial just so they don't have amazing choices from double crops. You know, see if we can end up with like Eldane and like, I don't know, like incinerating traps or something left in hand. Cool. All fine with me. All fine with me. So we'll just snap that one off. Because we're up by 8 after a heat wave. Her grace will not be pleased. Oh, cool. Alright, we'll just go for it now. Um we're still by three on even, so uh yeah, we can see what they do. Obviously it's a good trade off for them because it um, means their ball sticks, but I mean the poisons really are going to play for a huge amount in this matchup. So we can see. Never sit from the master's table. Never. Is this a leader commitment? Wow. Oh my god, they must have seen these three then. Because you, you always take the Venossial there. Interesting one. Um, this offers them a six card round two, which I'd be happy to take. Got to go to bed. Yeah, we uh, we have to pass now. Probably means we get bled. Um, other option is playing Venossial, but that feels. Kind of god awful. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll take the pass. If they want to go for a bleed, um, they're gonna do it. So we'll see. I think we can do reasonable in a bleed. It's just obviously if, if they really go far into the bleed, if they don't just give us a pass, um, it could get a little dicey. You need to go back, and you an error. Perfect. Ideally just a pass, but I don't expect it. I don't think after playing Koga Bed, you just pass. We take these ones, boys. We take these ones. Um, so we're going to see these, which means... We're going to see one, two... Is that good enough? Honestly, I don't think it is because missing Ibar, Eorveth, and Serpent Trap feels really, really bad. So, 
yeah, I think we'll, considering we have an era, I think we'll uh, we'll take our chances on a reshuffle. That hand's not too, too great, to be honest. Just because we're going to be stuck with a unit that we just really don't want to be playing, whether it's Officer, um, Herman, or... Okay, are we actually going to get done over here? Looks like we are. Uh, this hand is somehow worse. But uh, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's fine. Uh, we'll probably be an arrowing for Ibar, just because it's a bit more flexible. Should really have played out when Scout first, actually, but. Just didn't want, didn't want him to develop engines like that. Uh, a taste of <laughs> we've uh, we finally got a GG through from the uh, from the last game. Um, Elven Scout just always gets poisoned away here, but I mean, I don't think we care too much. I think we just accept that that's happening. Or it gets assassinated, which I'm also fine with. Point to that, uh, we'll probably be either going Kieran or Ibar. Uh, so Ibar represents like two more points, just because we get one of these or the other. But I think if we almost certainly want Pitfall or almost certainly want Serpent Trap, we'll just pick one of those two. But we can see. We can see. Shouldn't have actually made a mistake here, haven't I? Shouldn't have played these two together. Yeah, this is kind of why. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. <laughs> I mean, you... I got to see what that was. Like, I know for certain what that is. Um, and, um... I mean, even then, you can check your, check your deck. But yeah, we, we misplayed this a little bit with the uh, incinerating traps, but it's fine. It's a shame I didn't kill that one as well. That would have been really good. Surface. So what have they got left? What's left in hand? So that's probably a Joachim. Uh, what have they used up? I'm completely blanking on the deck list. I'm considering I play against it all the time. So what? Joachim and then some useless stuff by the sound by the sounds of it by the looks of it sorry uh so i think it's i bar because we do actually want a pitfall and never punished never punished An emissary I mean, I don't mind that, just because that means at least... Oh, this is a Yennefer's Invocation and Joachim then, I think. So, yeah, not sure if not sure if this is points-wise enough, but... Um, I mean, we've got 6, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we have 45 points. Theoretically, um, could be some misses. Oh well, they've really missed. Yeah, they've really, really missed their draws. So yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Because if that's a yellow keen, we go up to 42. Ah, just the amber. Oh. 
So there it is, boys. The only way to defeat degeneracy is to become even more degenerate. It's a little bit of a, little bit of a quick one today, but uh, we'll be back on Sunday. I have some, I have some ideas. I have some ideas. So for those of you that have stuck around this long, I appreciate it. And I can't say 100% if this is what's going to be the video, but I'm thinking it's going to be Siri Nova. And ah, I've got some ideas. So yeah, I'll catch you on Sunday.